YouTube, how's it going everybody? Hopefully you guys are having a great day, but in today's video, we're going to be showing you guys how to record your gameplay or whatever you want to record in 1440p using OBS Studio. I didn't know you could do this on OBS Studio until I bought a 1440p monitor that I game on and I was like, huh, this is a little more complicated than I thought it would be. So we're going to make a nice little tutorial slash settings video for you guys to get all the bitrate, everything you need in there. So your gameplay is looking fresh and smooth. But make this note, if you are recording in 1440p, you've got to have a nice system. I have a 3070 and an i9. It's going to take a lot of uh, space on your GPU, etc. I'm going to be showing you guys in later videos as well. And you'll have to have a lot of storage because if you're recording a 10 minute video in 1440p, it's going to eat up your storage. So make sure you guys have a lot of storage. But let's get right on into the settings so you guys can walk through with me on this and you guys can start recording in 1440p. And by the way, this video is in 1440p. So make sure to click that in the settings so you'll get the best quality ever for this video. All right, let's get into it. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, we have OBS open, and for the sake of this video, I don't want you guys staring at this infinite background, so I'm going to get this off the screen. I am recording on one PC, so I have to do it this way. Uh, anyways, you're going to want to click settings basically for OBS. I'm going to have to pull this back up here anyways. Click settings and drag this sucker down. It does not have a full screen option, so I am going to have to do it this way. If you guys are watching this video, I recommend flipping your phone to portrait or landscape. I don't know what it's called. I forget all the time from this way to this way or whatever. So you guys can see this the best. Um, before we get into the settings, I do want to again say that you have to have a good PC or a second PC to be able to do this because 1440p takes a lot of taxing. One 10 minute video takes up 14 gigabytes, roughly about 14 gigabytes of storage and Recording at that high of quality is going to take a toll on your system. While I'm playing games and everything, I don't see too much of an FPS drop. And for reference, I have an i9-10900K along with a 3070 graphics card. So I would recommend having good specs for this. And we'll get on into the other stuff later so you guys can see what works best for you guys. Anyways, let's get into the settings. You guys have been waiting for this. First off, you're going to want to go over here to the video tab section. If you guys have a 1440p monitor like myself, you can just simply hit this drop down arrow and select 1440p, which is going to be 2560 by 1440p, otherwise known as 2K, however you guys want to put say it. Um, if you guys don't have it there, all you got to do is look it up on Google and then copy and paste it in here or just type it exactly how I have 2560x by 1440, simple as that. Uh, the output, the scaled resolution, have it the same as that. Downscale filter, we want it on Lanzos, I believe is how you say it. I don't really know how to say it. The other options don't take as many samples, so it makes the quality a little less good. That's not the correct English to say it, but doesn't make it as good as quality. So basically, we want the most samples possible. You hit the drop down arrow, and it is the bottom option, Lanzos. And same thing for FPS. I imagine if you guys wanted to record in 1440p, you're going to want the best FPS possible. I don't know why you'd want 30 FPS selected. So we select 60 FPS for the best quality. All right, next section, we're going to go over the audio. Not too bad. It's just going to be real quick, but the audio is very important. All right, next section, we're going to go over the audio really quick here. Audio is very important because we are recording at 1440p. We're going to want the best audio as well. So everything can just be crisp together so you can get that crisp anyways select the audio tab right here the only thing you want to change in here is 48 kilohertz make sure that is 48 kilohertz because the higher the frequency the better simple as that i think the first one is set to 44.1 just go over there change it to 48 anyways next off we're going to go to output still talking about audio real quick you're going to want to put this output mode to advance because i think if you guys are automatically on simple you can see you don't have a lot of options here Select advanced and then go to recording. And as you guys can see here, audio track, we're just going to want one selected. And then you go to the audio tab. Boom. Track one audio bit rate. Change this from, I believe it's set to 160. Change it to 320. The better the bit rate, the better the audio is going to sound. <sighs> see? Good audio, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, anyways, that should be it for audio. We're going to go back to recording really quick here. Um, recording. This is where a lot of you guys want to see all the big stuff. Um, recording path. You're going to want this put on somewhere you have a lot of space. If you have 50 gigabytes or less on a device, I'm going to highly recommend you get another storage drive or anything like that or put it on another drive you already have. I have over 100 gigabytes on mine, so 
we're still good it's on my main drive we're good next off recording format but it's mp4 mp4 is accepted on like every editing software everything you can upload it to mp4 is just the well or most known all right next off this is where you guys are gonna have to do some testing yourself for your own system i have an i9 and a 3070 my 3070 has an encoder on it that's why it has the new nvenc i believe if you have a 20 series graphics card it'll just be the nvenc h264 um but if you have a 3070 or a 30 series card you can select this new one it works great for me let me tell you it just works miracles for me i'm able to play and not drop a lot of fps while recording at a high bit rate and everything like that i highly recommend if you do have a 30 series or a 20 series do this because if you are doing this on your just regular h264 it goes right to your processor and your processor i imagine is gonna be getting eaten up alive unless you have like one of the five fastest processors we'll just say five fastest then you could maybe select it but still if you have a 30 series card i just highly recommend doing that um next off we're not gonna have this rescale output selected because we're not rescaling our output at all i don't know why you would so we're gonna leave it at 2560 by 1440 well actually it's gonna be grayed out anyways because it's not gonna be checked so don't check it don't do anything there and next off we're gonna go over bitrate because this is a very important next step Alrighty, so like I said, bitrate, this is very important. And just so you guys don't think I'm grabbing numbers out of thin air, I looked this up and I have tested on my own. As you guys can see right here, if you are recording in 2560 by 1440p, otherwise known as 2K, if you're doing 60 FPS, it recommends about 30,000 bitrate or CBR. And I've tested it myself. If you go up to 50, it takes up a lot of storage. But if you have a lot of storage, go 50 or 60,000. But for me, a sweet spot is about 40,000. It still looks really crisp, really clean. That is what I'm recording this video on. So you guys watch it. You guys can see it's very crisp, very clean. But I don't have any gameplay going on. So it's nothing too, too big. But you can test this out for yourself. I tested it. 40,000 is pretty good. You can use that as a baseline. But if you don't want to take up as much storage, you can probably get away with 30,000. But it just won't be as crisp. So basically, that's what I found for the bitrate. You do want it on CBR for bitrate as well. And then again, put this to 40,000 kilobytes a second. Um, next off, keyframe interval. We're going to want this as low as possible. So we're going to want that at zero. Preset, we're obviously going to want this at low latency performance because we want performance. Ha! If you watch this and just were clicking it, I feel bad. I got you. Yeah, I'm a troll. Comment L if I got you on that one. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. You want this at max quality because we are recording in 1440p and you know we want max quality man i feel bad i didn't even do that with emotion or anything god that's crazy profile we're gonna want it high this is all stuff that is just normal obs stuff gpu at zero psycho turned on look ahead off and max b frames at two and yeah that's pretty much everything we need to know about the encoder and bitrate for recording in 1440p all right so that's pretty much everything you guys need to know for recording in 1440p on obs all the videos look crazy i'm gonna be dropping a lot of 1440p gameplays and testing systems stuff like that so you guys will be able to see a bunch of great new content coming soon i'm grinding really hard for that so i appreciate it if you guys like the video and subscribe if you made it this far but yeah appreciate you guys that is 1440p um just a quick little tutorial and i hopefully you guys are gonna have a great rest of the day and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one because we make a lot more tutorials like this but have a good day guys and tell somebody you love them be kind out there people all right, see y'all.